Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 15th of September 1830, the British MP William Huskisson died as a result of a fatal accident on the opening day of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. The Liverpool and Manchester Railway, known as the L&M, was created in order to link Manchester, a major industrial city in the northwest of England, with the nearby port of Liverpool. Intended to lower the cost of transporting imported cotton to the Manchester textile mills, the 35-mile-long railway was an incredibly expensive project, as it was the first railway to use locomotives to haul goods and passengers. William Huskisson was the MP for Liverpool and fought hard to secure parliamentary representation for the new northern industrial towns. As former president of the Board of Trade, he also had an acute awareness of the likely positive effects of the creation of the railway. The Liverpool and Manchester had been designed to use four equally spaced rails along the length of the route. George Stevenson, the designer and builder, intended that under normal circumstances this would allow two-way traffic using a pair of rails in each direction, but it also meant that the centre two rails could be used in case of a wide load or if there was a problem with one of the outer rails. The railway itself was opened on the 15th of September 1830 with great fanfare. Arthur Wellesley, Duke of Wellington, the Prime Minister, was riding in a special carriage when his train stopped to take on water. Having invited Huskisson over during the scheduled break, the passengers noticed that the prototype engine Rocket was approaching on the adjacent track. Huskisson attempted to climb out of the way into Wellington's carriage, but the door swung open while he was there and the approaching locomotive crashed into it. Huskisson fell onto the track and Rocket ran over his right leg and thigh. He died of his injuries later that evening. <laughs>